Hey, how's it going everyone? So if you've been following my channel, you would know that I have content on JavaScript frameworks as well as on Python frameworks, but I didn't really have any content on Java. And the reason for that was because for Java UI automation with Selenium, you need to do everything from scratch when building the framework. And my take on that was that why should you do all that work when there's already great frameworks out there that have done all the groundwork in making the framework readable, scalable, and stable. But now we have this amazing framework called Selenite which makes it extremely easy for you to write concise UI test, just like any other popular JavaScript and Python frameworks out there. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then come on, what are you doing? Pause the video right now and subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos like this. So let's go over what is Selenite and what are some of the features of Selenite. So Selenite is a UI test automation framework in Java. It's built on top of Selenium WebDriver what that means is that you can take advantage of all the low level features of Selenium WebDriver. And on top of that, Selenite provides you with added features and functionalities. Now, what was the motivation behind building Selenite when there was already Selenium WebDriver out there? So Selenium WebDriver is a tool for browser manipulation. And on the other hand, Selenite is built specifically for automated testing. And because of that, with Selenite, you can write readable user-friendly code that everyone can understand. Selenite also provides inbuilt functionality to write stable tests, and we will cover that in the next slide on how it exactly does that. One of the great things with Selenite is that it requires minimal setup and configuration to get started. You can start writing your tests literally in under 15 minutes. And best of all, it's free and open source just like Selenium WebDriver. Now let's do a little bit deep dive on the features of Selenite. So one of the things with Selenite you will notice is that finding elements with Selenite is extremely easy. You can do that with just dollar or double dollar to find elements. And this is exactly how WebDriver IO find elements as well. So you no longer have to worry about doing element and so on. Selenite also has smart weights. This is how it makes your test stable, as I mentioned in our previous slide. So for each element, it will wait up to four seconds to make sure that the element is visible and interactable and the wait timeout can be configured as well. It also provides you with various wait methods which you can use such as should be visible, it should disappear and so on. Selenite also provides you with additional convenient methods to make your day-to-day -day automation easy such as select radio, select option and many more. And one of the ways it makes your test readable is through chainable commands. Each command can be chained with other command instead of having to write it in a separate line each time. And Selenite also provides you with more locator strategy. And who doesn't like more locator strategies, right? So you can find element by text, by value, and in other few ways as well. On top of that, it also has an inbuilt capability of taking automatic screenshots on test failures without having to do any configuration for it at all. So these were some of the major features of Selenite. There's a lot more that this framework provides, and you're gonna notice the difference between using Selenium WebDriver versus using Selenite. It's extremely easy to write tests with Selenide. And trust me, you're gonna fall in love with this tool if you're writing your test in Java. It's gonna be way better compared to what you used to do in Selenium WebDriver. So hope now it gives you enough understanding of why Selenide is so powerful and why it should be a go-to automation tool when using Java. I personally think Selenide is really underrated and it deserves more recognition in the industry. Let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comments below. Now let's take a quick look at what we will be covering in this series. So in the next video, we're going to start off with setting up and configuring Selenide on our machine, and you will see how easy that would be. Then we're going to write our first test using the TestNG framework, and we will understand the basics of Selenide. Then we will move on to familiarizing ourselves with the Selenide API. So we will learn how to work with individual elements as well as multiple elements, and also how to work with input fields. We will also cover how to upload files with Selenide and look into various weight methods that Selenide provides. Then the most famous topic is page object model. We will also take a look at that and notice how easy it is to set a page object model with Selenide. Finally, we're going to wrap everything off with looking into how we can run tests in Chrome and Firefox, basically cross-browser testing, and also how to generate reports using the Surefire reports. So this is what I have planned so far for the series. If you want me to cover some other topics with Selenite as well, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely really excited to start the series and I hope you guys are as well. 
That's it for this short video guys. If you'd like to support my work, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button on this video. You could also support me by sharing this video with others. The more you show your support guys, the more motivation I get to keep making these videos for you all. Also, if you have the financial means, you can also show your support using the super thanks button below. That's all for now guys. I will see you in the next one.